As you will know and have heard and read in the media, theatre is in a perilous position now. Many theatres are on the edge of closure, and I don't want anyone to be in any doubt. We at the RSC are in a very vulnerable position, and we need government help. But there are others for whom this situation is even more urgent. As each week passes, our ability to confirm the time when we can reopen seems to get harder and harder to predict. We know that we cannot reopen our doors with current social distancing rules in place. The finances do not stack up. That's not just for us, but all theatres. So, for the moment, our theatres remain closed, which means we're not able to welcome you, our audiences, the reason we exist and we miss you. We miss your fierce loyalty and passion. It's almost impossible to imagine, isn't it? No Shakespeare productions in Stratford-upon-Avon this summer. And that hasn't happened pretty much since the theatres opened over a century ago. This room stands above the original Shakespeare Memorial Theatre, which opened in 1879. Seasons ran annually, even through three of the five years of the Great War. The old Shakespeare Memorial Theatre burned down one blustery March morning in 1926, but the very next day it was decided that the summer season of plays would continue without postponement in the cramped old cinema in Greenhill Street in town. And those seasons happened every year until Elizabeth Scott's new theatre opened in 1932. <coughs> Shakespeare plays were performed here throughout the Second World War. So the plays of Shakespeare have been performed on our stages, on this very site, since 1879, every year for the last 140 years, in a nearly unbroken line, unbroken, that is, until now. And this closure affects not just all our permanent staff, but the hundreds of freelancers we work with, actors, designers, makers, education practitioners. As the National Theatre in the regions, we have worked in close cooperation over many years with our 12 regional theatre partners, with our 261 associate schools, and I'm very proud to say with 500,000 young people across the country every year. We wait to hear from the government what support might be available for the entire industry. It's an integrated ecosystem which has evolved over many, many years, and we are all interdependent on each other. I would not be sitting here now if I had not caught the theatre bug as a teenager growing up in Preston in Lancashire and seeing shows in Blackpool, at the Duke's Playhouse in Lancaster, the Bolton Octagon, the Manchester Royal Exchange and the Liverpool Everyman. I trained in Bristol and saw fantastic repertoire at the Bristol Old Vic and shared in the Edinburgh Festival. I started my career at the Nottingham Playhouse and in rep at the York Theatre Royal and in Harrogate and Leeds. That training brought me here to the RSC. Without that network of 1,300 theatres serving and sustaining the cultural life of the country, enriching our lives, entertaining us and explaining us to ourselves, we will damage our cultural heritage for good. It's as simple as this. Theatre in this country is under threat. 70% of our theatres may be closed by Christmas. If we lose them, we won't get them back. It's urgent. And we mustn't lose what is, after all, a source of national pride and international significance. And we mustn't lose the next generation of talent which follows us nor wind back the huge steps we have made in diversifying our audiences and our workforce. Oh, bring back yesterday, bid time return, as Shakespeare said, and would that we could. Until March the 16th, British theatre box office alone generated £1.3 billion a year and employed 290,000 people. Before COVID-19, the annual theatre audience was over 34 million, and that's twice that of the Premier League. 
And it's not just the theatres. Look around us here in Stratford-upon-Avon. Our theatre attracts millions of visitors to the town, supplying the hotels, the B&Bs, the restaurants and bars with a thriving trade and fueling the local economy, just like every theatre around the country does for the community it serves. Shakespeare was born just near here in Henley Street. He crossed the old bridge, the Clopton Bridge, across the Avon and made his way to London to write plays which, until this crisis, were being performed somewhere in the world every single day. This is his home. We will survive. We must. Your support is greatly appreciated by all at the RSC, and your generosity will be felt by thousands of young people, as well as adults whose lives are transformed through incredible experiences of Shakespeare and live theatre. With your support, together, we will keep your RSC ambitious, keep your RSC inspiring, keep your RSC open for everyone around the world.